Hello guys, this is DK Uncovered. So in today's video, what I want to share with you is very important. So stay with me till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Subscribe guys, I need your support. Feel free to ask me any questions as well. But all I want to share with you is how to prevent relapse. Majority of us are trying to overcome porn addiction. Now, not everyone, but I've realized that majority of people struggle with this problem, including myself. I'm not going to act like I'm perfect. There's been times I've, I've struggled, I've relapsed and tried and relapsed over and over again. And at times I've given up, I've given up trying. I just let things be how it is. You know what I mean? At times, even I've thought every guy do, does watch porn. So it's a normal thing, right? But it's not really normal. Really and truly, it's not normal because it can affect your motivation to do things. You know what I'm saying? You will not want to do what is more important because you're always worn out you're always feeling tired you're not never motivated and motivation is very very important so that's why i want to share this video with you because i've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and to be honest through my experience i've realized that the majority the majority of times we relapsed or i've relapsed was when i was bored majority of times is when i was bored when i'm bored that's when i do that's when I relapse. That's when I start thinking about porn, 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 porn. Even at times, it's when I'm on social media. When I'm on social media, just scrolling through pictures and reading about tweet. That's and when I see, I stumble upon a picture. That's when I start to think about busting a nut or just watching porn. You know what I'm saying? So I want to talk about how to avoid these things through, right? And the first one that I want to say is that you need to busy your mind. You need to be on the go. Try to occupy your mind, read books, or just find an activity to do. When your mind has nothing to do, that's when, for example, you get negative thoughts sliding in there because it has nothing to do, and majority of us too, there's no positive thing going on in our mind. So the negative has to take over. And that's when we start fantasizing about porn and we start getting flashbacks about porn a porn video we watched two years ago. You know what I mean? I've been I've been there before where I was so bored. All of a sudden, I'll start getting flashback about a video I watched two, three years ago. It's so weird. You know what I'm saying? But when you're on the go, when you're busy, when you go to the gym, when you read books, when you um, watch videos, inspirational videos, when you go for a walk, when you just find something to do, maybe on your purpose, you like to um, take pictures, you like art, whatever you like to do, right? Or maybe you just focus on your task at work, right? So when you start doing all these things, you don't have time to be thinking about busting and that at 1 a.m. or whenever. You know what I'm saying? And even at 1 a.m. at times, I've realized that when in the evening, when you're sleeping, right? Because your mind is so used to certain type of routine, right? Or have, you know, certain type of um, times you probably were busting and that, especially at night time, you start getting these pictures in your mind's eye in, you know, and then that's when most of us get tempted. When it, when you realize these things, I have dumbbells at home that I, as soon as I get these flashbacks, I get up and just start trying to, you know, lift weights or watch uh, watch a video. Watch me. I like animation as well, and I like DC animation. At times I watch that. You know what I'm saying? Um, or even at times like I read books. Most of the time it's me reading the book, innit? But if not, I'm watching a video or. I, I go, I, I lift up my dumbbells or I affirm something, I practice affirmation. I just do something, you know what I mean, to um, block me from doing what I, the, neg the bad things that I have to do. So, yeah, that's one of the ways, man. Occupy yourself, be on the go, be, get, be on the move, you know what I'm saying? And even at times, I pray for, I talked about affirming stuff to myself, right? I am stronger, I am stronger, I am stronger than this. I can overcome this. I don't believe in defeat. I don't believe in defeat. I say these things to myself. And even at times I pray, like I pray, you know what I'm saying? I sit down and pray. So you could do the same thing. Now, like I said, at times I, I'm not strong enough, you know what I mean? I fail at times, but you have to be persistent, you know what I'm saying? Like things doesn't happen overnight. You have to keep practicing and keep being persistent. You will fail, just get back on your feet and try to push yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And the last one is try your best to get off social media. To be honest, in the past, that has been one of my biggest enemy. Being on social media and watching, looking at pictures and just looking at anything. The next thing you know, you see a chick twerking or 
doing something or a chick at the beach, right? Taking pictures or at the beach or just a model. Oh, we all get we all stumble on these type of pictures, right? It's not good, you know what I'm saying? It's not good. So try your best to get off those things as well. And for people to that are on dating apps, you know what I mean? If you're sitting down in a quiet place, in a quiet place, or in a quiet room, and you're just swiping left and right on pictures, of course you're going to relapse in it. So try your best to get off those things as well. And to be honest, dating apps in the past has been one of the reasons why I relapsed a lot of times. You know what I mean? So try your best to reduce it, right? You can go to, you can go on your dating apps maybe when you're with a, a, outside. You know what I'm saying? In a situation where you're not going to relapse, but if you're in a quiet position, a situation where you find yourself Thinking about busting and not don't go on social media, don't go on any dating apps. Just find something more worthwhile to do to block you from doing what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's all I want to say. It's very, very basic, but it is very, very um, beneficial if you start doing all these things. It's a basic thing. You know what I mean? Most channels that talk about porn addiction has probably um talked about this already, but it's just something that I use, I've been doing for the past few years, and you know what I mean. At times, when I'm not too ignorant enough, I start, when I'm serious, right? And that, to be honest, I start practicing these things and it is very, very beneficial, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, try your best to do it. And even, to be honest, I do it that most of the time now. So, try your best to do it. Anyway, I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before I finish, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Subscribe, guys. Have a wonderful day, guys, and take care.